All right, guys, this is Ogi here. Um, I'm going to do the update for the uh, V-Control Evo that they posted online. So first thing that you have to do is get this uh, rubber caps off, get your, your screws off, okay? Okay, another one here. Six screws total. Make sure that yeah, they're fully out. So some extra turns to make sure that it's completely off. Okay. And uh, working now on the top four. So these three are good. This one here is going to be the next one, the two top ones. So here. We should be good. So let's open that. Oh, I forgot I need to get this off the the proper feet. I need to come off so I can open this. Okay. Alright. So as you can see there is some components that are attached to the to the back. So those you want to unplug. Unplug this too, and then the one in the back here also off. Okay, so now you have them all out as you can see. So, uh, let's see, we have all the screws here. Let's see, one, two, three, four. Let me see if I got them all here. Oh, looks like it fell on here. Okay, so next thing you have to do, according to the instructions, is get this. Um, the battery off completely yeah. so now we have the battery off okay so there is no power to the to the unit at all whatsoever okay so next thing is to get the um well, first of all i need to disconnect the wires that are coming to the board because this board is going to be disconnected fully so Gotta get all of these wires off. Okay. We're supposed to take a picture of it, which I already had from before. So, uh, okay. And this one here, too. Let me get this one. Should be. Okay, so all of the wires are off. Okay, these ones, I am going to label them before taking them off. So I'll be back. All right, as you can see, I labeled them by using one dot. Uh, no dot, one dot, two dots, and three dots. Same way here, no dot, one dot, two dot, three dots on the connectors uh, so that they go back in the same place. Now let's get the the board off okay so you need to get uh, eight screws off actually nine with the bottom one so nine screws off so let's get it off all of them this one is for the battery if you ever need to add a second battery or something you can do it here simply take this off and put a new battery um, a second battery, I'm sorry, if you want to do that. Okay, so two. Okay. Okay. 
Let's see. Three. Okay. Okay, and the last one. The last one is this one here. Okay. So let's see if there's anything. Oh yeah, this one here. This one here is a connector I want I was on this for the for the screen, but I don't know if the screen is attached to it, so let's see. Yeah, it's not it is attached to it, so I'm gonna have to take it off. In order to get the the flat uh, cables off, you need to raise uh, these uh, locks up so they come up like that. And uh, so you can slide the flat uh, ribbon cable off, out of it. Okay, so now, let's see. This should be good. That's off, off. Things are off too. And this should come off easily too. Okay. Okay, good. So now it's out for me. So the um, all right. So the uh, the issue is speaker being as you can see. There's some indentations here. Hope you can see them. Those in indentations are not supposed to be there. Let's see. So we need to separate it a little bit so that they don't. Um, touch this area here and create uh, short circuits. Okay, this has, has a protective film, but apparently that's not enough. So, in order to make it work, what we need to do is in all these spacers, we need to add some washers to raise that a half a millimeter so this is separated from the board enough so it doesn't touch. So, I'm going to look for the, for the M3 washers uh, to do that. Okay. I'll be back. All right, you can pull these uh, spacers and add a washer spacer and then put it back in place. And that will raise the board away from the, from the speaker there. So I'll have to do all of them and I'll be back. You can use a 5.5 um, socket here get them out and get the spacers out okay so you can put your your uh, spacer and put it back in place and I'll continue doing this until you have them all done okay now um, we need to put a tape here so I'm going to use this one this is a gorilla thick clear tape this is a very thick and strong uh, tape as you can see here very very strong and very thick and that will be the one that I'm going to put there to protect the on top of the black one okay it's in place and I'm going to trim it using an exacto knife to make it round well as you can see I trimmed the thick tape and now we have more protection on this here and the speaker. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and reassemble. So it has all the screws, all the, I'm sorry, the spacers here, the standoffs um, with the sp with the spacer uh, washer in the front, at the bottom, okay? So I'm going to put the uh, board again in place. Okay, the, uh, what is the name of the um, board? in place make sure you have your um, flat uh, ribbon cables out um, so 
so that they can be placed again in the in the flat ribbon connectors all right make sure that nothing is in the way all the connectors are free and clear okay this one here needs to go underneath that and on the left side of this pull, uh, standoff that is there the plastic one okay so let's start putting the screws in place now okay i'll come back when i have them all in place okay we're back with all the screws in place as you can see these two are for the battery strap and then the other like that and now uh, we got to connect this uh, again like i said before i marked them and uh, and they go from here to here and these two out outward ones they go into the other side of the case you know these are the this one and that one you know for the other so let me put them in place and be back all right they are now back in place as you can see and forget to mark them or it's going to be difficult for you to figure out which one is which make sure that all the other are connected like this too right and these three here, one, two, and three, and this one here, okay? And uh, the uh, Wi-Fi one here is for the Wi-Fi antenna. Um, and make sure that there is nothing, you know, move the gimbals and make sure that nothing is, is uh, rubbing or touching anything else, okay? And also make sure that your two antennas, you know, the flat one here, and then the other one here, they're in place, okay? They go to the uh, RF module. And um, the flat wires, the flat uh, cables are in place and secured, locked, okay? And then finally after that, you plug in your, your um, power here, okay? All right, and then bring the other side of the of the transmitter the other the, the lead okay make sure that you got this one which is the vibrator motor in place okay and now this one will be the right uh, switch and now this one here is the right switch goes here okay Make sure that uh, I'm doing it right. Okay, secured in place. Now we're gonna go to the other one, which is this one here, and that will be the other switch. Okay, put the other switch in this place and secure it by pressing down. So okay, so we have all the switches. Everything is back in place. Okay. And now we do a mechanical check, make sure everything is fine and dandy. Okay. Before we close it. Okay. Okay, we got a little bit of a cable here off, okay. good okay closing nice and all right I'm gonna go ahead and install all the screws okay all the screws are in place now I'm going to put this uh, oops clean it and with the anvil correctly that and this one here check the angle okay here all right and now the rubber the rubber feet okay the rubber 
graffiti at least. Hold on. Shall I go in here? Oh, I think it's the same. Yeah, it's this way. Yeah. It was backwards. Okay, now this one fits better. Okay, so we got this now in place. This have a double-sided tape, so just have to put them there and then press to make sure that they attach. That's it. Okay, so now the moment of truth, truth, press, and Mikado. There you go. Give a touch. And that's it. Good. Good to go. All right, hope you guys enjoy that, and uh, now you know how to do this. All right, don't forget to subscribe and click on the notifications bell so you can get this um, a notice on the whenever there's a new video. All right, bye bye.